My name is Stephen Lowe. I'm the director of Rocky Mountain Express. Uh, it's a film that took about five years to make. Uh, we filmed every year for about a week or two in, uh, on the steam engine journey from Vancouver to Calgary. And uh, each year we shot a little more. Um, next. Okay, a lot of the photography was done with the gyro stabilized uh, camera on, on the front of a helicopter. Uh, this is the full 1570 negative shots. Um, very uh, tricky and difficult, sh uh, elaborate shots. Uh, we would uh, dive on the train at high speed, spin around it, and pull back upwards a thousand feet all in one shot. Sometimes flying backwards at a hundred miles an hour. Uh, very exciting stuff to do. Um, the camera carries only three minutes of raw stock film. Uh, so. Every three, every three minutes of shooting, we had to land the helicopter, fuel it up, uh, reload the camera, and then get back in the air, go looking for the train, because the train never waited for us. It has a uh, slot on the main line. It can't uh, sit, uh, sit around waiting. So we would find the train and then fly in front of it um, so that we could check for wires and any obstructions that might be there, and then go back, catch the train, do the shots, uh, and then go back and reload again. So very, very <laughs> exciting, a lot of fun, but very tricky. Uh, we chose to shoot this film in 1570 IMAX, which is the full-size um, uh, film medium. Uh, we did this because the quality is vastly better than uh, uh, any other system, including digital. Di this is about 20 times better quality than digital. And so we used classic IMAX, partly because there's so much information in the, in the mountain journey, and uh, it's just a terrific two-dimensional uh, giant screen. Uh, vistas are so spectacular that um, it's perfectly suited to the giant, uh, M the giant uh, negative that we used. Uh, I'd say the reaction to this film has been extraordinary, and uh, we get letters every single day from people, um, and vastly greater response than we've ever had in the 15 or 16 other films. And it's hard to know exactly why. I think people are emotionally moved by the story, the sacrifice that the workers made. But the, r the romance of the train and the beauty of the mountains uh, somehow reaches people very deeply. Uh, we have. We have stories of people who go, who've been 15 times, and they've taken their family each time. Um, people have been, almost everyone has been two or three times that, write, that then write letters to us. So this is an extraordinary response, and uh, everyone should come and see it. It is one of the great Canadian stories, if not the, the, the most famous story. And uh, seeing it in IMAX uh, is completely different than, than seeing it on television, because you get up in a helicopter and look down at that tiny little track headed into the mountains, and it's a surreal experience. It's that these guys built their railway uh, so long ago with their bare hands. Uh, how they even, even scouted it is beyond belief, and the fact they did this in 1880s uh, is, is magical. So come and see it.